Josh did this thing in the last podcast, I'm sure you listened to it twice, where he brought over uh, from his garage um, a number of items and he said, are these neat or not? Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, Josh, what do you have for today's neat or not? I cleaned out my garage, I don't have anything, I don't have anything left. Well, fortunately, I don't have any stuff. I'm going to remedy that problem by playing neat or not game on expo <gasps> edition. Sweet. That's right. I and was Punky at- and I both get to be neat or not. You we guys get, are going to judge render a this neat is or neat not. or not, okay? So I've been enjoying collecting uh, PS1 games okay. because I just like the generation. I like it, yeah. I got both of these for $1, so 50 cents each. Moto Racer 2 and Motocross Mania, just generic excite bike type clones, mm-hmm. neat or not? Nah. Nah. Okay, so McDonald's made the Grimace game on Game Boy. Game Boy Color, correct. And someone made a physical ver- version of it. Oh, wait, is that uh, this is recent? Grimace's like they birthday. recently made it? Yeah. yeah, literally. Like about two months ago, I think. Yeah. Said May was his birthday. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is a new thing. This isn't McKids or anything like no, that. No, no, this is yeah. a new game that they made as a Game Boy game. Someone put the game on a reproduction Cart. Game Boy cartridge. And that really works. And it really works. Awesome. You play it on your Game Boy. That is neat. I think that's neat. Okay. I thought that the, the ROM dump of that that McDonald's did was neat. I think this that's neat really too, neat. but that's really neat. <laughs> yeah, I purple. love the idea that Wait, that thing you, could plug into a real one. Milkshake? Have you tried the Grimace milkshake? I refuse to because I don't <laughs> want to die. All right, here's the next one. So uh, this is a not for resale Legend of Zelda, uh, the Between Worlds, Link Between Worlds okay. on the yep, 3DS. One game. of my favorite Zelda games Fantastic ever. Game. Now here's the thing with not for resales. I generally avoid them. What does that mean? So this was like if you went to the store and they're like, this new Zelda game's coming out. They would put like a version of the game. And so this is not to resell. Uh, and because it's not the full game, so like you can play the demo in the, the store. Demo version. I paid twenty dollars for this. That's very cool. Which is about the going rate for it. Neat okay. or not? I think that's neat. I think it's neat. So I had one objective to find when I was at Game on Expo, and it was Kid Nicky complete in box. Okay. Could not find it. All right. But there are. I'm collecting certain NES games. Mm-hmm. The, I don't even have it, but I want to get it like Double Dribble in sure. box because that's a game I love. It's awesome. not a valuable game. Yeah. Awesome. Game. But it's one that I love. Yep. Um, here's one from a series that is fantastic. This is Castlevania III, Dracula's Ooh. Curse, complete in the box. I spent 110 on this complete in box. I'm seeing them on eBay for like 180. Definitely neat. I think that the old NES boxes are so cool looking. Yeah. I'm gonna level that up for you a little bit. I think that the Konami ones, in particular that gray yeah. box yeah. in that, there's a signature element to the way that they're designed where you're like, that's a Konami box. Right. I've actually haven't seen a box variant with this little um, how to win Dracula's hometown. So that's just very neat. Wow. That's a different Yeah, variant. I think that's very neat. Let's stay on the NES train with okay. another Konami title. Uh, was not intending to buy NES games, but then someone had the unfortunately titled Ooh. Monster in My Pocket uh, on the NES. Yeah. Uh, this is one I see on a lot of hidden gems lists. The label's perfect. The uh, It's a rental. It's got some rental stickers on it, which oh, yeah. gotta love that as well. Mm-hmm. Um, have you guys played this game, and is this no. neat or not? I think it's very neat. I love that game. I played it. Monster's in My Pocket. I think it's like, it was like a, it's a toy TV show. Toy. Yeah. yeah. So okay. there, was a very, uh, there was a toy line. So the video game version of this box came with its own little unique monster. No way. Uh-huh. Oh, that's uh, cool. So that's neat. This is very neat. I think it's... Yeah. You gotta pick one. Yeah. You gotta pick one. Nah. <laughs> you say nah. It's not a property that I cared about, so... Right. Uh, this is a If it was cartridge. Mighty Max, then we could be talking. So how about Galarian's Ash? This is the sequel to the PS1 title Galarian's, which is like a sci-fi... Resident Evil with psychic powers. Who game. made it? Uh, Sammy Studios oh, okay. and Enterbrain. So I don't know who's the publisher, who's the developer, but um, it's teen for blood and gore, suggestive themes and violence. I wanted to play it just because I like the series, but I've not played this version really? of it. Is it neat or nah? Nah. Nah for me. Never played it. Never. <laughs> this heard looks of like. It. I've never even heard of Sammy. Studios. It looks like every. Box cover a VHS in Blockbuster when you walk down the sci fi section. Alright, here's one that a lot of vendors have at events, but people kind of, I think it's one people know about, but not one that a lot of people have actually played. Rising Xan, the Samurai Gunman. This is something like a cross between. 
uh, a spaghetti western, and yeah, kung fu movies, and acid. Okay. Acid. Nice. Okay. Yeah, it's a very bizarre game. I loved. I had this in college, and then I I sold it, and when I got rid of my PS One stuff, Rising Zan. So he has a gun and a sword. He's the samurai gunman. Uh, guns and swords are cool, and together I think that's neat. Okay. I think that's neat as well. Good. We're gonna get onto a kick here. Another PS Two title. This is Ghost in the Shell, the standalone complex. I wanted to try it out, never played it. I've actually never seen Ghost in the Shell before. Standalone complex is fantastic. Mm. I think that the Ghost in the Shell, the original, mid. Mid? It's, <laughs> yeah, it's, it was revolutionary. For, it's one of those movies where you watch and be like, yeah, I bet if I watched this at the time, this would have been neat, but it's not, it's not as good. Standalone complex, which is a, a series, it's like an anime show, yeah, yeah. so it's multiple episodes unbelievably fantastic okay. like so good so i've never played the game i don't know but but you like the story i like this show so much that i think the game probably could be pretty cool okay so neat i say neat i think neat too i'm familiar with the anime saw a couple shows growing up pretty cool how about this then went out to breakfast with okay. a friend of the show the friend of the channel is named insane d gamer okay and he goes i got you something you. insane d gamer the Ghost in the Shell standalone complex oh. box Whoa. set. Hold on a second. Whoa. Autographed <gasps> by the guy who made Ghost in the Shell. Oh, you were just talking what? about this series. There it is. Yeah. That is so cool. So I, I, that is I, neat as it gets. I think so. Mary Motoko. something. Uh, Motoko. So I, or so not the develop the person who made the show. I, I don't think know. it's the. It might be the um actress. Wait, wait, wait. Open it up. Open it up real quick. Open up that one. There's this. another. It's a different uh, there's person. another signature here. Just, Let's see, just the two. Yeah, just the two are on okay. okay, well. Very cool though, you have the show now. I have the show. That's a great and show. And the game. My kids are a part of a film that came out. Yes. Called Asteroid City. And um, it, it came out on Blu-ray. Yep. And I got an autographed copy of it by the main stars of the film, my daughters. <laughs> uh, and this, this is a an actual physical copy with the real life wow actual actual signatures, signatures. from the Tom Hanks's grandkids and Jason Schwartzman's kids right, in the film, right, right. and they they play Cassiopeia, Pandora, and Andromeda. Yeah, uh, neat or not? Nah? Uh, that's very neat. Yeah. It's I'd the be off the song. show if I said no. This, this, this is this is the neatest thing. You can tell me that <laughs> is true. But this is the neatest thing in my collection. I honestly, like with the way that their signature is at this stage of life too, I'm like literally going to frame this because it's perfect. So, I mean, you'll need to like get another one of those when they're like 20 and have them sign again so you could have both. Hopefully, right, hopefully when they're twenty, um, the Criterion Collection version will be out. That's by right. That yeah, point. maybe they should. You should get every version that comes out and have them sign it at the various stages. You know, I'm going to. Yeah, like yeah. when there's a Wes That's Anderson a box set with like right. a variant cover, or a 4K version. That's very neat. I'm buying every single That's one. That's the of them. definition of neat. 